Hey guys, I'm Convolution. My name's Con, and right now, or rather today, is a ruby day, a red day, a sword day, and the sun rises! If you guys know where that quote is from, or rather which movie that quote is from, leave that in the comments below and I shall recognize thee as a person of culture! Anyways, getting back to the real shit, it's time for a ruby volume 6 chapter 12, bro! I'm gonna be reacting to chapter 12 and chapter 13 right now. Don't worry, I'll release these uh, video reactions as separate videos, so, and hopefully you guys will be able to view them around the same time, depending on when this video gets un blocked because i have no doubt it'll get blocked but uh hopefully it gets released pretty soon um this chapter specifically is titled See seeing red what seeing red what manner of red are we talking about whose manner of red are we talking about especially the way things left off last couple of episodes with the freaking mech battles bro freaking mech battles bro cordovan freaking cordo bringing out that freaking mech do that giant ass thing i'm not too worried about that battle actually you know why? Because they already discovered the core power engine generator thing. All they gotta do is send freaking Ant-Man down there to fiddle with the wirings a little bit. Problem solved. Easy. I'm not even worrying about that shit. The main shit that I'm worried about is this freaking Final Destination map with the freaking, you know, the little, the bridge of Casa Doom with the waterfalls in the background with red and red and black versus black and yellow. What the hell? We got freaking Bumblebee, aka the bike. KIA, dude, so that shit ain't coming back. Or is it? I don't know, but man, oh man, freaking Blake and Blake and Yang versus Adam. We got Bale and Goldilocks versus the Beast, bro. The battle that's been anticipated since the end of volume three, bro. Dude, that shit surprised me like last couple of episodes with Adam showing up. I have yet to go through a lot of you guys' comments from the previous two reaction videos. I'm kind of, I'm, I'm waiting to, uh, to check these out and then jump into those and see what uh, what kind of information that I've missed. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be here checking out chapter 12 and then chapter 13. And oh my God, I can sense volume seven right there, man. We're at the doorstep. We're on the precipice of volume seven, dude. Can't believe volume six is over. Dude, after this, I'm gonna be checking out a couple of videos, including the soundtrack reactions, but they'll be kind of like maybe melded into i don't exactly know my schedule for reacting to volume 12 so many of you guys have volume 12 what i say volume 7 yeah man <laughs> i'm mixing chapter 12 and volume 7 together volume 12 yeah um so many of you guys have commented that i was like start volume 7 start volume 7 but i've been checking out some other ruby content you know i've been uploading a couple of my ruby art reactions if you guys haven't checked out my reaction to any of the previous ruby uh ruby uh, proper reactions or just ruby art reactions or the final uh, my final reaction to ruby chibi leaks down this description below as well as a page you guys can go and check that out as always, if you guys enjoy watching these videos with me, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share the video with any other fans of Ruby or Rooster Teeth content out there. Come over to Discord. We're almost at 200 people, y'all. Almost at 200. And we've been growing pretty well for the past couple of days. So come over, join there, share your thoughts and ideas, your artwork and your memes, your cosplay recommendations and all that shit. Recommendations? No, just cosplay art. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not going to cosplay anything unless it's freaking Oscar, bro. Anyways, I'm super excited to check this out, but at the same time, I am incredibly hesitant and kind of scared simply because we're at the end of the volume and it's the penultimate episode. At the same time, it's just that Adam versus what, what's going to happen, man. And see the a title like seeing red does not inspire confidence, you know, going forward. But yeah, this is it is what it is. Let's wrap up this volume right now, right here, and then discuss each ep uh, each chapter as we go. <laughs> All right. Ruby, Volume 6, Chapter 12. Is there anything that I forgot to say? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and jump it in 3, 2, 1. Mm, still when it comes to the moon! Sun! This will be like, what, the second to the last? No, third to the last time I'm gonna be reacting. Because I'll also be reacting to the full soundtrack in the uh, soundtrack reaction. Duh. Yeah. Maria, what you gonna do? Uh, dude, it'd be cool if, like, Mar like during the Meg battle, Maria actually showed off her, like, uh, Grim Reaper skills. You know, like, I'm, I'm sure there's gotta be a reason why we saw those crazy action scenes, you know, back in uh, Volume 6, Chapter 6. Seven, I want to say. Yeah, it'd be cool if we actually got like outside the mech, you know, Cordovan versus um, freaking uh, 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 Grandma Maria. It'd be so freaking awesome. He's like, I'll show you whippersnappers how shit was done back in my day. Salim, bro, Salim. Mmm. We haven't seen Oz in a while. We gotta, we gotta see if that fool makes a a, a return. 
rising like the moon. Silhouette against the moon! Chapter 12. Let's go, let's go. You just couldn't keep this rivalry between us, could you, Calabarra? <laughs> you have <laughs> been children to fail with you. You just got these freaking Atlas soldier cheer. What is that? Ruby. Oh, she's still hanging on there? <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Huh. Oh shit. Guys! <laughs> I read. Guys! Oh shit. Yeah. Right, but her missile launcher doesn't lock in. It pops out. Without her shields, one well placed shot can detonate the missiles while they're still in the launcher. Oh, there's a lag period. Entire cannon. Oscar, that's brilliant. Can you Oscar? We'll only get one chance before she catches on. I'd have to be practically staring down the barrel of her cannon. Oh. Well, I've got a way to guarantee that. Oh, okay. Oh, is she gonna get on the sh- Yeah. Ruby, what are you doing? Somebody go with her! We need support! Hello, why is- Argus Space Incoming Call? Hey, Cordo! <laughs> I've got one missile left, and I know exactly where I'm gonna stick it! Oh my god. <laughs> I knew that joke was gonna come back somehow. That's a shame, Maria, because I have plenty. What? Okay. <laughs> Sometimes the best approach is simply the most direct. Mm. Oh, I like that stance. Sniper stance! Let's go! Oh. That didn't go as planned. Dude, she is so extra. You thought you could fool me? Oh, oh god. Holy shit. Barely missed them. Oh my god. Her eyeballs. Oh, 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 oh shit. Oscar's gonna get a freaking flight lesson right now. Trial by fire. Oh. Oh shit. I'm sure they're okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Freaking crow's jump was funny. We're, we're still in one piece. Yeah. How was grandma? She was literally not wearing any seatbelt. Very clever. But even the smartest apes can't compete with the intellect. Apes! You call us apes? Damn. She really needs like new glasses. Ruby, stop. Oh. I need you to trust me. Oh. Damn, dude. Man, this whole volume has been about like just Ruby growing up and his uncle coming to terms with that Surrender shit. Surrender for your crimes and accept your punishment. No. <laughs> Straightforward. I like it. We're going to Atlas. Bigger people than you have tried to stop us and failed. I can't but remember. But we're supposed to be on the same side. We're supposed to use our power to protect people. But you just used yours to look down on everyone. We didn't want to steal from you. We did it because you gave us no other choice. Yeah. Now I'm giving you one last chance to stand down and hear us out. Ultimatum. She's not going to take it, though. I've heard enough. Yep. Oh, shit. Here we go. Here we go. Staring down the barrel of a cannon. <laughs> going to go slow-mo. We going to go slow-mo. Oh, what? what? Yeah. She's <laughs> if Nora's telling you you're nuts, you you out of it. 
Oh! Oh! Oh shit! Oh shit! Damn, girl, you crazy! Oh! Use the force, Ruby! Use the force! What? How many different elements was that? Oh, oh no, her semblance, huh? Oh, she, oh, Weiss is breaking the fall. Good the job, Weiss. Good the job! Ruby, Ruby. She's good, she's good. You just gotta recover. Told ya. Yeah, nah. <laughs> okay. All right, all's well that ends well. Don't tell me I missed it. <laughs> you knew you couldn't win two on one at Haven. We back. What makes you so sure you can win now? I don't have a choice. Yep. I have people who actually care about me. Let's and go. I promised I'd never leave them again. So I'm not dying now. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. You know, she made a promise to me once. That she'd always be at my side. <laughs> and look how well she's kept it. Did she make that promise to you? Or to the person you were pretending to be? Ow! Calling him out. So I just wasn't good enough for you. Ho oh. ho. You know it's so much more than that. Mm. I know you've made your choice. And I've made mine. Uh oh, here we go. Let's go. All right, let's go. Come on, give it to me. Stato. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, they're giving us a white shot? Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Dude, I love the camera angles. Okay, okay, let's get that Grambo Shroud. Teamwork, guys. Teamwork. Unision. Yes! Unision attacks. Let's go. Ah! Damn. Shit, dude. Adam's still like... No! Uh, no! This is bad. This is bad. One-on-one. One-on-one. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Me neither. Come on, girl. You got this. You got this. Your aura is bound to be running low. But she still got some, right? Oh, oh, oh. Blake's... Oh, my God. Please, let this not be a Mufasa moment. Please. Hit me already. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. Oh, dude, the freak. Holy crap. He combos this shit. The, the freaking spinning blade plus his freaking energy release? You're just a coward like Oh my Oh oh Her eyes! Her eyes went red! <laughs> Super Saiyan time! Super Saiyan time! Yeah baby, let's go! <gasps> Fucking punch! Oh shit, crack the freaking earth asunder! His aura's down, let's go! Oh, your son is gone. Oh, her R is down. But I'm smarter. Yeah. No. Yeah, there goes your son. Oh, Simba, just like Simba. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! Whoa! What? Yo, what? Wait, what? He's just like, oh. Wait, wait, hold up. What? Ah, uh, Holy shit. I'm not going to break my promise. I swear. I know you won't. They freaking did it. 
Okay, well that's... That's surprising. Meanwhile... Sorry, I'm just- I'm, my mind is still like, whoa, Adam's dead. Trump! Everyone on board! We're making a run for it. What about Yang and Blake? Ma'am, we've been trying to reach you. Argus is in danger. Wait, what? What? Wait, 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 what? 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 Holy shit, it's freaking Godzilla! What? Wh How? When? Oh, wait, is it because Cord is it because of the the the, the, the everybody's freaked out? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Oh, and their their biggest defense against freaking giant Grim is like down for the count. You know what I'm saying? Wow, when it rains, it pours, man. Holy shit! Whoa. Okay, it's freaking Godzilla, but even bigger than Godzilla. Adam is dead, dude. Adam is freaking gone. Unless, unless they do some crazy shit where, oh, you know, he's got two stab marks and vital organs of his body, he, but he still rolls down the river. Some uh, crazy fisherman lady picks him up and, you know, heals him, heals his wounds. And then, you know, he develops this alternate persona. He forgets his memories and becomes a good person, marries this girl. And four volumes later, we'll see Adam and, and this fisherman lady with kids. You know what I'm saying? That weird, crazy shit storyline that happens every now and then. I don't know, man. That would be crazy if, you know, the... Anyways, my mind is like rolling, but man, I'm guessing that is like pure confirmation, <laughs> pure freaking confirmation that Adam's dead. Unless yeah, in the water, I imagine Adam's body falling and then meeting Bumblebee's, you know, broken bike right down there. Maybe Bumblebee's so AI mentality will come up and like ride out with Adam's body. I don't know, man. My mind is wandering to strange shit and places. Wow. Stabbed from the front and back, bruh! Dude, that is crazy. It's crazy how it mimics like volume three's ending cause like Blake was in front of Adam when she was, he was like stabbing her into the end of volume three. And then Yang was coming from behind and then he slashed it away. It was kind of like that. It was mimicking them from the two sides. The fight itself was freaking amazing, dude. I love Adam's combos, man. Throwing that spinning blade followed by that like energy burst. But man, oh man, did he not account for that freaking Super Saiyan Yang Shaolonga? My God, Yang was saving that. Yang was saving that energy because I was like, last chapter's reaction, I was like, what is going on? What is Yang gonna unleash her freaking fury? You know, freaking Furiosa on freaking Adam, dude, man. That is crazy. That is... The fight is superb. The fight was great. The animation was phenomenal. And the, and the, the camera panel was awesome. I loved how it started off with like a wide angle fight. It didn't last very long, but it would last just enough to give you like sort of like the momentum of the fight, like build the momentum of the fight and which leads into like all the crazy panning shots. Awesome, 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 awesome. I loved, uh, the, 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 the fight itself was amazing. The only thing is like, <clears throat> It, it kind of had me confused, like, okay, so Blake went down, he, she was trying to climb up, and then Yang was left with, like, the one-on-one -on -one match. And I love, like, how Blake just sort of, like, comes up with, like, freaking uppercut. You know, that was crazy. It was a good, it was a good fight. So, for all tents and purposes, I assume for the time being, based on the outcome of that battle and the way it was displayed, that Adam is officially, you know, KIA. Wow. Wow, like uh, that's crazy. So we're not gonna get any more Adam whatsoever going forward. That's mm, that's insane, dude. And it's like a very tragic story at the same time because you see this character who he's introduced in the black trailer as this incredible, powerful sort of you know adversary, possible adversary, but it's also a very cool character that you kind of kind of get behind. And his weapon style and his fighting capabilities are just so cool and amazing but it just roots if he turned that storyline on its head showing that you know this guy's an evil character with blake's storyline it just shows his like dissension into like madness and just like heartbreak and like you know ultimately you know having everybody turn against him at the end he has nothing he just all he has is his rage and his you know his jealousy and it's just 
pure, uh, you know, anger at, at himself at well, as well as Blake. So it's just, it's his, his tragedy and his ultimate end is a culmination of all his, you know, his failure, I would assume to move on and cope and just, you know, evolve. He, he's, his character sure displayed him in such a light, in such a different light as you see the possibility or you see the light of a different character within Adam. The potential for a much brighter and much better individual, but it's just his life and like the freaking insignia on his like, I mean not the insignia, the brand dude on his head. It's like you, there's some things you just can't wipe away. You know, and that's just one of those things. It's just, you know, it, it left a permanent scar on his um, on his psyche, on his heart, and it's just that's uh, that's what he became. You know, he he became literally his scar, and he and there was only one you know end for him, and I guess this sort of just funnels into that. So is the White Fang like shit right now? I mean, not the, like the the the, the more. Um, the more violent White Fang, just like there's no, the, there's no more, you know. So is this the end of the White Fang? Is that what they're telling us? I mean, the only other the White Fang, the, the revolutionary White Fang, or like the more, uh, you know, the benevolent White Fang, which is led by um, Blake's uh, Blake's dad at the moment, Gira. Is that the only branch of White Fang out there? I would assume there are like branch segments still like lurking about somewhere in the world, but I'm guessing for the time being, this is the elimination of that particular story portion. Who knows, man? And maybe this will be better for the White Fang so that, like, the people who are without a leader in the violent White Fang will join over to the more benevolent White Fang. We'll see, man. That's just crazy. It, that caught me by such surprise, man. I thought Adam was gonna run away and his story was gonna continue, so this was very surprising. And do, do I feel negative about it? No, it's just like, it was just surprising, you know? It's not, it's not like, it's just crazy like he just suddenly showed up and then suddenly his you know end is over and I'm, I'm certain many of you guys will you know in the comments will delve into like you know the reasoning behind it and I can't wait to read that you know your guys you know argument for uh, why this actually makes sense for me it makes sense but at the same time it's kind of like hmm this this was very like out of the blue it kind of feels like that but I'm, I'm totally in acceptance of it but I just surprise is just wow this character that we've been following for so long is done you know Wow, man. And at the end uh, end of this volume. But let's get back to like the freaking Cordovan stuff, you know, I, that all that surprise aside. But the uh, freaking battle was epic. The final conclusion, it just, it, it, as much as it was a surprise, it was it was also very sad. And, you know, he just, this character's gone and whatnot. And is he fully deserving of it? Who knows? It just felt like the moment at yeah, that end, he was just like, oh, so this is how I go, you know? Anyways. Cordovan's fight, and now that the Grim are finally here, it makes sense in the sense that, like, you know, the freaking mech, you know, getting unleashed from the, the mountainside pillar or whatever, it, it, I'm assuming the Grim are attracted by the fact that the vast majority of people within Argus City are, like, you know, freak the hell out. It's like, why the hell is this mech coming up? What are we fighting against? You know, what's the reason for the mech? And so that anxiety and that fear is what draws this grim in. But the freaking Godzilla, Godzilla from the freaking sea, dude. Holy shit, man. That is crazy, dude. Like a freaking Godzilla grim. This is like, this grim seems like five times the size of freaking Kevin, dude. What's the name of this one? Actually, leave down in the comments below what, what the fandom gave this one a name. I'm just gonna call it the Gojira Grim, you know what I'm saying? Because it's literally Godzilla. He's literally inspired by Godzilla. I have no doubt that he's inspired by Godzilla. He's even coming from the ocean the same way Gojira does, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, the battle with the the battle with the mech was freaking awesome. The um you know uh, Oscar uh, you know coming up with the plan and then his uh, plane crashing. Uh, Ruby going into the into into the freaking cannon itself and shooting and it exploding into different elements. Awesome man, I freaking love this shit, dude. This and and it seems like the chapter thirteen is gonna be even more insane with the freaking Godzilla Grim. Anyways, anyways, uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump into chapter thirteen right now, right right here and now. What did you guys think? Leave your comments down below, and I will see you guys in the next video. And then in the in the finale of Ruby Volume Six, we're finally at the finale of Ruby Volume Six. Wow, I gotta I gotta take a little breather and uh, just like you know figure out my thoughts before I jump into chapter thirteen. I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day or a wonderful night wherever you guys are. Bye-bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, hit that like button, and feel free to share the video. And I'll see you guys next time.